So, um, we would want to look at poverty, inequality, and development. Starting with poverty. What is poverty? <laughs> I believe it's a, it's a familiar word to you, poverty. Poverty generally refers to a situation in which an individual or a group of individuals is unable to have access to basic human needs such as food, water, sanitation, clothing, shelter, healthcare, and education. And with poverty, we can classify them into two major or basic types. So the first we would want to look at is absolute poverty. Absolute poverty is sometimes known as extreme poverty or abject poverty. It is a situation where an individual is severely deprived of basic needs such as food, safe, safe drinking water, sanitation facilities, health, shelter, education, and also information. It depends not only on income, but also access to services. So if the individual does not have access to information, he doesn't even have a phone to have access to information, he doesn't have a radio, he cannot pay school fees, he doesn't have somewhere to lay his head, he doesn't have access to health care facilities, sanitation, safe drinking water, food. That individual is in absolute poverty. The term may also refer to individuals whose standard of living is very low and their income levels woefully inadequate to meet their basic nutritional requirements. Even if they devote their whole income or their entire income budget to food. So devoting their entire income, if they, they cannot even afford a balanced diet, then such individuals are in absolute poverty. The next is relative poverty. Relative poverty refers to a situation in which individuals lack the minimum amount of income needed in order to maintain the average standard of living in the society in which they live. So it is society based that is a relative poverty. It is also um, defined relative to the members of a society and therefore differs from one country to another country. Someone who may, might be considered relatively poor in Canada, in Ghana might be considered not relatively poor but rich. Because the money he has can afford all the basic needs in Ghana, but um, in Canada it cannot afford him the average standard of living the society deems fit. So that is a um, relative poverty. I believe you can tell or um, differentiate between relative poverty and absolute poverty. The next thing we want to look at is inequality. Inequality is a notion of how national income is distributed among individuals in the country. The most common ways of evaluating the effect of an economic growth on economic well-being is through the study of income distribution. Who gets what? So in a country, um, how is the national income distributed? Is it distributed? evenly among citizens or there are some people who continue to be rich while others continue to be poor that is inequality if there is no balance there are two different ways in which income can be distributed in a country and these ways are functional distribution of income and size distribution of income we'll continue in the next um, video explaining the functional distribution of income and size distribution of income. Thank you.